There was the thing, and the thing, and then the Grindelwald, and then the thing. Hi everyone, I'm Brittany K, and this is Awkward Gravity X. Stop right there. If you have not yet seen the newest and final trailer for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, you need to stop this video right now and go watch it. It was released two days ago, and it is amazing. I'm freaking out. I want to see it so bad. Oh my gosh. There was the thing and the thing and then the Grindelwald and then the thing and then the thing. <gasps> oh, it looks so good. I literally cannot wait. It is cosplay season here on Awkward Gravity X. Every year I choose a character and I cosplay them and wear it for Halloween and blah blah blah. This year I have chosen Newt Scamander from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and I'm super excited about it. I just wanted to show you guys a couple of the goodies that I have already collected for the cosplay and that's what this video is about today. Whenever I start a cosplay the first thing I do is I start looking online for things that um, might work for the cosplay because online usually has cheapest stuff and um, has everything you can find. This movie takes place in the 20s and it was hard to actually find uh, 20 styles clothing online, even on Amazon and vintage stores, I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for. I decided to take my introverted self out of the house and went and visited some thrift stores. There was one in particular called It's a Wrap. There's one in Los Angeles and one in Burbank. It's a thrift store of all clothes that are taken from studios, so from movies and television shows. And I'm sorry if you can hear the noise of the housemates. Um, yeah. So let me show you what I got. I found some of the perfect clothing. The first thing I got was the steal of the day. Oh my gosh, you guys. I literally found the most perfect pants. These brown tweed pants. They're the perfect shape and they're perfectly in my size. And I got these at It's a Wrap and I literally, literally paid $3 for them. I paid three dollars for these pants and they're the perfect shape size and color and they were just all around perfect and the my most favorite thing that i bought because they were three dollars and they were perfect I... so the next item i got i needed a button down shirt and i didn't want to buy a new one because it would have been like stark white which is not the case he has kind of like an off-white like looks like it's been worn um button down shirt so i got one also from it's a wrap and it's actually a J. Crew shirt and I got it for like five bucks um, and it fits great in my size which is awesome so just a white button down shirt is essential from the thrift store shopping finally I got a vest this is the vest I got and it's great it's the right shape has the collars um, it's a little bit big for me so I'm going to end up um, cutting it down and sewing it back together to make it fit me more. It's a little too brown. If you have seen um, the trailers or the ads, his is a little more of a rich like reddish brown. So um, I thought this one was a little too plain. So I have actually ordered some fabric dye that's going to be like a rich gold. But other than that, I think that the cut of it is perfect because yeah. Um, love it. This one and it was a little more pricier of the items. This one was actually $25. Still got it from a thrift store though. I have to tell you guys about this because it's amazing. On Magnolia Boulevard and that whole street in Burbank on Magnolia Boulevard is all thrift stores and vintage shops. Literally the whole street and it's amazing. So obviously I'm missing a couple things. I have not got the shoes yet because I found a couple that I like on Amazon but I kind of want to shop I couldn't find any in the thrift stores. I did look in the thrift stores, but I couldn't find any that I wanted. Um, so I'm going to shop around at some like discount shoe stores and see if I can find anything there that's cheaper because this is a cosplay. I don't want to spend like full dollar on things. Um, although the shoes I probably would wear for other things as well. But of course, there's his um, blue trench pea coat, which I have found the perfect one. And it's like the perfect color because a lot of them when you look for them they come like really dark navy blue and his is like this almost like turquoise like vibrant blue um and it was really hard to find one and i found the perfect one and i took a big risk with it because it was super affordable but it says that the shipping could be between october 30th and september 14th 
I mean November 14th. It might not get here in time, but I'm banking on the postal service doing me a solid and getting it here in time because it's gonna be awesome. If it's not here by Halloween, like there's scenes of him in the trailer where he just like has his sleeves rolled up and I can pull that off, so that's fine. Also, it is really freaking hot in California. Um, if you see in some of the pictures, he's wearing like the blue coat and then a brown coat and then the vest. That's not happening. I live in California, it's hot. That's not happening. And then another thing that I'm missing is the uh, suitcase that he carries all of his magical creatures in. I'm going to be crafting that from scratch. So that should be fun. There will be a whole video on me crafting that from scratch. Here's the thing. I live in Los Angeles and I have um, an annual pass to Universal Studios and there's all vendors there and they sell all the wands and I'm hoping that they release the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them wands before the movie comes out, if at all, because um, I really want to get like Newt's actual wand. I don't want to like make a wand and I don't want to like carry around Luna Lovegood's wand in replace of his. Like I want Newt's commander's wand. So I'm kind of hoping that happens. I'm going to Universal um, this weekend and I'm going to look around for that because that's important to me. They might not even release the wands at all, but that would just be silly. That would be absolutely silly. I also need um, the bow tie, which I'm probably just going to get some ribbon and do it because he has like this thin bow tie. So I'm probably just going to get some ribbon from the fabric store when I'm getting this stuff to make it the suitcase. So there's that. And I think that that's everything. I was thinking about getting a wig for a while, but then I realized that I probably won't find a wig that's his haircut. And then when I look at pictures, I realize that we actually have really similar haircuts. My hair is just much softer and straighter than his. So I think I'm actually just going to be dyeing my hair. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I'm super excited about this cosplay. It's already, like, I put these three items on and it already looked amazing. So I can't imagine what it's going to look like when it's actually finished. I'm super excited. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any more of my Newt's Commander cosplay videos because uh, there's going to be quite a few more. And I'm also going to be doing um, other videos such as updates about the movie and the wizarding world as a whole so make sure you are subscribed because this whole channel is going to be super wizarding world themed up until the movie comes out so yeah. i love you very much and i will see you very soon with a new video Bye bye